A warm welcome to this live telecast. Uh, my name is Apostle Larry Dogano, and I'm glad to welcome you to the year 2015. Shall we pray? Father God, you have been good and kind. We bless and praise you. We thank you for your kindness. Thank you for ushering us safely into this year. We pray your blessings will abound in overflow unto us. Thank you for your word that is, as it comes, that it shall bless and change our lives. It shall enrich and strengthen us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'm so delighted to be with you. Well, this being the beginning of the year, um, everybody is kind of trying to, um, you know, kind of forecast or to give a word concerning this year and what this year holds. Um, well, it's not that I want to just join the, the bandwagon or the join, the car, join the chorus, as it were, but I really want to s share with you a few things that I believe uh, God laid in my heart concerning this year. You know, when you have uh, been with the Lord for a while, you get to you get a somewhat acquainted and you get to know some you know when the lord is speaking or when the lord is leading you and so i just want to share what i believe the lord put in my heart whilst we were in his presence uh, on the 31st night concerning this year um now basically this year is going to be a year that um will be filled with god's grace abundant grace and also uh, God's provisions. Now, you may be wondering why I'm saying these things. I know sometimes people try to uh, conjure meanings uh, of what the seasons mean, you know, either by looking at the numbers or by other other combinations, things which give, a hint, give hints about what could be in the year. And make no mistake, uh, Jesus clearly tells us that we are able to foretell or to forecast the times we're in by observing. So that's a very important uh, part of it. By observing, you can tell uh, where we are going. And he actually gave indications or signs which, um, you know, show or indicate or give us uh, a hint as to where we are heading, you know, as a people, uh, as far as the prophetic timeline of events are concerned. Hallelujah. And so, what does this year hold in store for us? Now, I believe it's going to be, one, a year of uh, divine grace and abundance. Yeah, partly, you might say, because of the number five. Yes, but I, I, I see it more from the perspective of what God spoke to us uh, when we were in the service and 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 i believe it i believe because already there were some signs of that just prior to the the turn of the year now let me take a scripture from uh uh these are the two scriptures the two main scriptures the lord uh used to to reference what he was going to uh, do for us in 2015 uh, Isaiah chapter 45, uh, from the verse, uh, let me see, from the verse 1, it says, Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, uh, uh, to subdue nations before him, and to loose the loins of kings, to open before him the two leaf gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. That thou mayest know that, the Lord, that I, the Lord, call thee by name. I am the God of Israel. Hallelujah. He said, for Jacob, my servant's sake, and for Israel, my elect, 
I have called thee by name, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me, that thou may that 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 thou may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am God and there is none. Hallelujah. Now, in this scripture, we know from history that God raised uh, a ruler called Cyrus who actually uh, showed great favor, actually was one of those who, um, you know, favored the cause of Israel uh, pertaining to their, their release from uh, captivity. Uh, Babylonian on Persian captivity. Now, this man called Cyrus, God appointed him, and he was a heathen who didn't know the Lord. Now, what the Lord tells me is that he will raise up strangers who will meet our needs this year. He will raise up people who will fight our cause, who will, who will stand in for us. Where you have a case, where you have an issue that is pending, an issue that is... Uh, you know that, that that has really gotten you stuck in one place. I want you to know that this year God will raise up people, spokespeople, who will speak for you. People who will who would who will intervene. Who will be your advocates in Jesus' name? God will move because He has chosen to help you. The grace of God will be much. God will stand in for you. And he will make sure that you are delivered, you are helped from whatever situation you may find yourself in. Hallelujah. If you, um, you know, cross over into the new year with some issues which are not settled, I want to tell you, by the turn of this year, or with the coming in of this year, God Almighty already is positioning himself to intervene for you. Hallelujah. You will be delivered. You will be helped. The Lord will come through mightily for you. Say, I receive it in Jesus' name. Now, there are certain seasons when God's mercy just comes up. And God just shows his, his kindness towards humanity. It may not even be because of anything we have done. But God just wants to show kindness to those he loves. Hallelujah. He tells, um, he says through prophet Isaiah, he says, for my servant Jacob's sake, for Israel, my elect, I have called thee by name. God will pull people up and he will touch them, he will shake them, he will put and some agency in their heart so he can favor you. Praise the Lord. You know, you have to understand that it's, we don't always deserve the things God does for us. Most of the things God does for us, He does them because He wants to be kind and gracious. And for that reason, you know, we, 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 we have learned or we, we get to the point whereby, you know, we appreciate God and thank Him, you know, for the kindness He shows to us. We realize sometimes that, oh, we didn't do nothing, and yet God has blessed us. God has, has, has shown us exceptional favor. I prophesy to you that you receive exceptional favor this year in Jesus' name. Strangers will be raised up, who will speak on your behalf, who will fight your cause in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, another piece of scripture I would, I would like to share with you, which the Lord you know, uh, brought to my attention, to, to buttress this was. Uh, can be found in um, 2 Kings chapter 4. 2 Kings chapter 4, the Bible says from verse 20, uh, 38, that, And Elisha came again to Gilgal, and there was death, that was, there was famine in the land, and the sons of the prophets were sitting before him, and said unto uh, his servant, and he said unto his servant, Set on the port, and the, and the seat, and seat portage for the sons of the prophets. And one of them went out into the field to gather herbs, and found a wild vine, and gathered thereof, while God his love full, and came and shed them into the pot of pottage, for they knew them not. Alright? So, 
they poured out the meat to eat, and it came to pass, as they were eating the pottage, that they cried out and said, Thou man of God, there is death in the pot, and they could not eat thereof. So clearly, because of the, of the famine in the land, they went out to gather you know, some herbs from the field, uh, and not knowing that they had gathered poison. And they began to eat and began to feel, and they began to feel very, very bad and almost, you know, uh, sick and deadly sick, as a matter of fact, in their stomach. It took the mercy of God for, for them to be healed. But let's see what happens. But he said, bring, um, bring meal. And he cast it into the pot. And he said, pour out for the people that they may eat. And there was no harm in the pot. So the man of God poured something in the, uh, the food that they had made. And uh, they ate and they were saved. But that's not what I wanted you to, I want to uh, bring to your attention. Now, I, I decided to read this for you to know that there was a problem, there was a need around at the time. Hallelujah. And look at what happens next. From verse 42, it says, And there came a man from Baal Shalisha, and brought the man of God bread of the first fruits, twenty loaves of barley, and full ears of corn, in the hearts thereof. And he said, Give unto the people that they may eat. And his servitor said, What shall I set before an one hundred men? He said again, Give the people that they may eat. For thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord, they shall eat and shall live thereof. So he said it before them. And they did it and left and left thereof according to the word of the Lord. Amen. Now, so in that condition, whilst um, they were trying to manage the, the, the hard times, the Bible says somebody, uh, an unknown man from somewhere, from a place called Balisha, Baal Shalisha, he came and he brought to them, he brought to them, uh, some 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 hairs of corn and also 20 loaves of barley hairs of corn and 20 loaves of barley but then the servant of the prophet said well these are so few how can this uh meet the needs of a hundred hungry men men who have been you know hungry and they're just managing the little they can how can you bring you know uh, uh, uh you know 20 loaves of barley and 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 uh, and, uh, and uh, some years of corn how would this satisfy them but the man of God spoke away. They said, that says the Lord, they shall eat and they shall have leftover. I am telling you something, that God will work a double miracle. A stranger from somewhere will come in and to fight your cause and speak for you. And the needs that you have will be supplied in overflow in Jesus' name. You see, it is so awesome. It is so humbling when God decides to move on our behalf. When God decides to take on our battles, and go, when God decides to speak for us, and when God decides to fight for us, I speak over your life that this year will be so for you in Jesus' name. You know, you have to take a position whereby you are under this kind of covenant provision or covering, whereby the grace of God will come upon you, whereby the mercy of God will visit you, whereby the tokens of God's goodness will fall upon you. I pray it shall be your portion in Jesus' name. Be among the group, be among the clique, be among the circle of those who are committed to the things of God, who are seeking God, who are looking for the kingdom of God, who are looking towards the kingdom of God, who are looking towards serving God's kingdom and His purposes. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you that God's provisions and grace will find you in this very year. The year already is positioned to do favor and to bring favor. My prayer for you is that it shall happen to you in Jesus' name. That you will receive, that you will receive of the abundance of the grace and the provision of God. Say, I hear you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me just give one more scripture and close with that. And that's the third scripture the Lord uh, laid on my heart concerning what he was going to do. Now this we'll find in Matthew chapter 14. It's a story most of you know quite well. The story of the of the feeding of the five thousand. Now, as you know, Jesus was busy working miracles, and people began to follow him, and they followed him so much so that they forgot 
I mean, all they cared about and all their attention and all their interest was on the man Jesus and whatever he was saying and whatever he was doing. That was all they cared about. And before they realized, they ended up in the wilderness far, 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 far away from town. That's what happens sometimes when you are following God. You are so focused on serving God that you lose touch with, you know, some realities, some real situations in your life. Hallelujah. You follow God so much so that sometimes you even don't have enough time to, to take care of your personal needs and to, and to, and to make sure you have uh, enough money and to take care of some basic things that, you know, you need to sustain you because you are so focused on hearing from God and so focused on serving Him. Let me tell you something. When it happens that way and suddenly you hit a crisis, the same God whose you have become, whom you are following, whom you are, you are, you've given all your attention to, that same God will not let you down. The Bible says when the disciples suddenly realized that he had, be, he had become so late and they were so far away from, from the town, they were wondering how they were going to free the people because the people had been with Jesus the whole day. And so they were pleading with Jesus to send them back so that they can get to the town in time and get some food to buy. Jesus said, well, you give them something to eat. And he said, how can we give them something to eat? In this place, there's no food. And they said, they said well, there is somebody, a lad here who has only five loaves. Five loaves and two fish. Let me tell you, let this number five, and whatever it means, let God's grace be more than enough for you. Let supply come in abundance. Let provision come in abundance. Let the supernatural hand of God move into meeting every need you have. Remember, those people were pursuing the Lord. They were with the Lord. They were hungry on every word He spoke, and they were their eyes and their gaze was fixed on Him. There was nothing they wanted to miss. Every move He made, everything He uttered, they hung literally on the words of Jesus. Are you hanging on the words of Jesus? Are you hanging on him? This is where it calls for you to change your ways, change some attitudes, change some habits, if you want the Lord to be your provider and your source. If you want the grace of God this year to meet every need that you have, then let me tell you, hang on his word, reach out to him, and see what he does for you. Hallelujah. And the Bible says something. It says, But Jesus, verse 16, said to them, They need not depart. Give them to eat. They said unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. And he said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass. And he took five loaves and two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and break and gave the loaves to the disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up the fragments and remained twelve baskets full. And they that had eaten were about five thousand men besides the women and the children. Hallelujah. There is no need in your life that will not be met. I prophesy to you 2015, the year of grace, abundant grace, and divine provisions. The year of abundant grace and divine provisions. This is what the Lord spoke to us He was going to do. I want to share with you. I want to give you that hope as well. Let me tell you something. When we hear things like this, sometimes we get an idea, we get an impression that we will never hit any bumps on the way. We we'll never encounter any situation on the way. Look at the situation they encountered. They didn't have nothing. But in that situation, that was when the grace of God showed up. The mercy of God showed up. doesn't matter what you're going to meet this year. Only you need to be assured that as long as you are with the Lord, you will never be disappointed. He will show up. He will meet your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. This is the word that... I have for you for this year that which God will do. Let it be your guiding way, your guiding principle, knowing that you trust in a mighty, powerful God who will never leave you nor forsake you. 
God bless you richly. Thank you for sharing this time with me. And I look forward to your company again next Friday, same time. God bless you richly. If you want to reach me, the contact numbers will show up on the screen. Uh, just feel free to call or to write, and I will get back to you. God bless you. Bye-bye.